me. <laughs> Look at this place. Boys, I want this all cleaned up. Dad, Mom wants this all cleaned up. I'm on it. I meant you two. We're delegating. You missed some crumbs. Oh, good eye. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. And then there's Lori, making breakfast for the whole family. <laughs> oh, I'm not making this for you guys. I'm making breakfast for my dung beetles. They're so small, they won't miss one little chocolate chip pancake. Dung beetles don't eat chocolate chips. They eat dung. <laughs> oh, and that's not orange juice. <laughs> it's an orange mega blend. <laughs> you should really clean this up. You don't want to attract bugs. These kids of ours are lacking all sense of responsibility. Maybe, but Lori's pancakes are amazing, so I consider it a wash. <laughs> Earthy? Enough is enough. From now on, we need to start making the kids do things for themselves. Agreed. Well, no more waiting on them hand and foot. Hey, Dad, these feet aren't just gonna massage themselves. I'm coming, buddy! Mmm. <laughs> this is delicious birthday cake, dude. Thanks. It's my mother's secret recipe. Mm. She took it with her to the grave. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, she's not dead. She just uses a family mausoleum for storage. <laughs> oh, here you all are. I have an announcement to make. I'll be closing the community center all day tomorrow. What? I'm attending a mandatory human resources seminar on trust in the workplace. As if I need any help in that department. So why are you closing the community center? Because I don't trust any of you to run this place without me. <laughs> oh, I hear it now. Cake? What is this, a birthday party? It's Dupe's birthday. Dupe's birthday was six months ago. You're saying this cake has been in the fridge for six months? Of course not. Oh. It's been in the trunk of my car. <laughs> Fine, more for me. Ooh, I think I left some ice cream in my glove compartment. How hard can it be to run this place for a few hours? You know, I'd be happy to fill in for you tomorrow. I see what you're doing. You're angling for my job. Why would I want your job? Oh, so now my job's not good enough for you? You try doing it for a day. In fact, here are my keys. Wow. You really do have trust issues. The most important thing to remember is do not let Dupe touch the thermostat. I'll leave you a list of the other rules in my office. Also, stay out of my office. Hey. Did you guys know it's Dupe's birthday? <laughs> Why does that keep happening? I don't understand. Usually there's food in front of us. Maybe there's something wrong with these plates. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's been a rough night. I must have gotten food poisoning from Dupe's cake. Just the thought of food makes me want to... Cook it? Mom, you look terrible. You should go back to bed right after you make us breakfast. No, I can't. I have to fill in for Pam at the community center today. If things don't run smoothly while she's gone, she will never trust anyone again. <sighs> Do you think you're in the car right now? No backseat driving. I'll get Dad. He'll know what to do. Hey, Dad. I'm right here. <laughs> what are you doing? Just sitting on the couch reading this article. <laughs> Pass me the sick bucket. That's my football helmet. Not today, it isn't. <laughs> Dad's in even worse shape than Mom. We need to find someone to cover for them at the community center. You guys go. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Ooh, a fort. That sounds like fun. Also, I'm dying. If you could all just be patient, we'll get this sorted out. Dupe, 
What's going on? None of the instructors have shown up. Yeah, we had a bit of a celebration yesterday, and apparently some people can't handle their cake. Never mind. The pool staff didn't show up, and I need you to fill in as lifeguard. OK, but I just finished eating. I'll have to wait 30 minutes. Or now. Oh, and turn up the AC. It's hot in here. Delicious cake, and I get to use the thermostat? Best day ever! Luke, Larry, where's your mom? She was supposed to be here an hour ago. She has food poisoning. We're hoping she'll be better in time to make lunch. Everyone's sick. I can't run this place by myself. It would take me two weeks just to get through all Pam's rules. Well, it looks like you could use a couple of extra helpers. Well, good luck finding them on such short notice. You're not going anywhere. I need you to cover some classes. Larry, how do you feel about kicking back with some cute girls? Uh, I don't know. Is this a permanent position? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Luke, how much do you know about first aid? I know I often need it. Uh... How are you feeling? <laughs> Good. Your moaning sounds much stronger. <laughs> and how about you? Oh, you're still using this helmet? I gave you a big bowl. Thought that was a bedpan. <laughs> I'll go take care of this. Wait. Be straight with me, Doc. Am I gonna make it? That depends whether or not this is your pancreas. <laughs> Before you go, I need you to help me with my bucket list. Water bucket, sand bucket, milking bucket, bucket of chicken. These are just different types of buckets. Yeah, I told you, it's my bucket list. Here's my things I want to do before I die list. Number one, make a list of all my favorite buckets. Check. <laughs> Has anyone seen any cute girls around? Oh. Nicely played, Chelsea. All right, ladies, looks like I'm your instructor today. Who wants to show me where you left off last class? Don't worry, cutie pie. I'll go easy on you. I'm sorry, we're short-staffed. I had no choice but to combine the Rare Historical Document Society and the Origami Club. Uh. Dude, what's with the inflatable duck? It's kind of a long story. I can't swim. <laughs> Larry, what happened to you? Those cute little girls are vicious little killers. I have bruises in places I didn't know I had places. If you need a bandage, I've got plenty to spare. In related news, first aid class did not go well. I can't thank you enough, guys. Happy to help. Great, here's your next class assignments. Run, Run for, for it. it! Oh no. Oh, oh my leg! Oh. Uh. <laughs> <sighs> wow, you got here fast. And you even had time to change. It took you guys 45 minutes. Oh, when did it get so cold in here? I think Dupe jacked the AC too high. Now, where were we? Your class choices are ancient Egyptian mummification or yoga. I think the choice is pretty obvious. Yoga! Yes? Can you pass me the water? Can you put the straw in my mouth? 
You just blew your own whistle, but you can't turn your own straw? So weak. <laughs> I'm feeling much better now. I gotta get to work. I'm heading out the door. I'm getting in the car. Mom, for the last time, you're not going to work. Joke's on you. I'm already there. I'm gonna need a private room. <laughs> Let us begin. <laughs> Clear your minds, begin your breathing, and try to keep up. <laughs> we start with downward facing dog. And gently flow into melancholy snake. All struggling. <laughs> Perhaps we should start with something a little more basic, like pufferfish in repose. <laughs> That's it. You've got it. Actually, I'm nine months pregnant. Oh, I'm not familiar with that pose. How do you achieve it? <laughs> That's really more of a question for your mom and dad. <laughs> Are you our instructor? That depends. Do any of you know karate? <laughs> then yes, I'm your instructor. <laughs> Welcome to advanced babysitting. Let's start with the basics. Sneaking your boyfriend into the house after the kids have gone to sleep. <laughs> I'll play the boyfriend. Who wants to go first? We usually practice on demonstration dolls. Today? I'm the demonstration doll. So what are we learning? How to lavish a child with hugs and kisses? That was last class. Oh. Then is it spoon feeding children delicious num nums? No. Well, what else is there? <laughs> this is so humiliating. Don't worry, it won't leave this room. Oh, I didn't mean humiliating for me. This diaper is completely lopsided, and your safety pin placement is atrocious. This place needs to spring for a better cable package. Are you not feeling any better, Dad? No. <laughs> I think I've taken a turn for the worse. That's strange. I just examined your cultures, and everything looks fine. Well, who are you gonna believe? Medical science or the man who pays you your allowance? What now? Can I get a menu? <laughs> hey, what's going on over there? Gotta get to work. Don't touch my pudding. <laughs> She made a break for it. There was nothing I could do. Can you pass me her pudding? What's wrong with the two of you? I'm trying to take care of you. Why can't you at least try to help out a little? Oh, sounds like Dr. Lori is getting a taste of her own medicine. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. I'm gonna retweet that. Here you go, take this. Ooh, this one's for Mama. <laughs> what are you doing with the lost and found clothes? Or as I call it, my fall winter collection? I'm trying to keep these people warm. I went to turn the AC down, but the thermostat was frozen solid. That explains why the pool is frozen and why the diving team all have concussions. Dupe, you have to fix this. I'm on it. Larry, why are you wearing a diaper? It's the only thing keeping me from freezing my butt off. This is a disaster. I have no choice. I'm gonna shut the place down. You can't. My mom is on the hook for this. If you close the center, Pam will never trust her again. Fine, but if we stay open, you have to deal with the consequences. I can handle the responsibility. I'm actually quite mature. 
Says the guy wearing a diaper. I guess it can't get any worse. All fixed. Namaste. Great class today, ladies. Come on, shake a leg. Let's go. The baby is coming. To pick you up? A baby shouldn't be driving a car. I mean, I am about to have the baby. Oh, that makes more sense. Wait, you're having the baby now? An actual human baby? Ah, more of a demon baby. Lay down and get comfortable. I'll go get help. Wow, you've got a pretty good grip there. Stay calm. Just keep breathing. I know the drill. No, I meant me. Here you go, folks. A little hot chocolate to warm you up. See, we've got this under control. Do we, Larry? Do we really? Hey, who doesn't like a chocolate icy paw? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That's on the deck. What is this? What is going on here? Oh, this is doing a nice icy pop. Oh! <laughs> Did someone let Dude touch the thermostat? Didn't you read the rules? It was a really thick book? It was the first rule. <laughs> Dupe has no internal thermometer. He always makes it way too cold. I'm surprised the pipes haven't burst. <laughs> and there it is. Where's your mother? I knew I shouldn't have trusted her while I went to that trust in the workplace seminar. <laughs> hey, are we all talking about our problems right now? Because there's a pregnant woman in my yoga class and the baby's coming. To pick her up? That's what I said. I'll deal with the rest of you later. Take me to her quickly. <laughs> Maybe not that quickly. We've got to find a way to make this better. I have no idea how to make this better, but I do know how to make it worse. <laughs> Why does this keep happening? <laughs> Dad! Are you okay? I thought I heard something. No. Oh, probably just me moaning in pain. Oh! I've been working on some alternative remedies. I think these will really alleviate your symptoms. Ooh. First, a dose of jellied cockroach guts to settle your stomach. Oh. Uh, perhaps you have something in a grilled cheese? No, but I do have some toad gland secretions. With cheese? Do you still have a headache? Um. Yes. Then we'll have to release the pressure. <laughs> Whoa! Look, I am fine now. Wow, you really know your stuff. Yeah, that's what I thought. So how did you know I was feeling better? When I ordered Chinese takeout? <laughs> thought that might be pushing it. Ooh, there it is. <laughs> hey, do you have 40 bucks I could borrow? What? You're a doctor. <laughs> oh! You're doing great. Thanks. I think she was talking to me. Don't worry, paramedics are on their way. Wow, I can't believe how calm you are. This isn't the first yoga baby I've delivered. You should really stop letting pregnant women take this class. Oh, here's the head. Luke, you should probably close your eyes for this. Way ahead of you. Wow, making things worse actually did make things better. It's nice to see everyone having such a great time. 
Not everyone. <laughs> oh, man. We are so dead. Who is responsible for this? We can explain. This is simply wonderful. <laughs> Maybe it's just the lingering euphoria of bringing a new life into this world, but this is simply magical. <laughs> Apparently, I am still hallucinating. <laughs> Lisa, I don't know how you did it, but bravo. I knew I could trust you. Never doubted it for a second. What was that snowman talking about? <laughs> I better get you home, Mom. Wait, where's Luke? I'm right here. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> Just heard from our new mom. The baby's doing great. They're even considering naming her after me. Pam's an okay name, but Luke helped with the delivery. Shouldn't the baby be given a combination of both your names? Puke? No, that won't work. Too trendy. Good job getting rid of all that snow. Thanks. Maybe I'll just take the stairs. <laughs> Get